A little roving reporter, KB, on many varied trips, not only throughout Melbourne, but around the countryside. Last week, you may recall, he opened up with a policeman's helmet and blow me down, we found Footscray's Emmett Dunn. Now, today, many of you may have thought Rene Kink spends his time cutting hair, but KB, intrepid reporter as he is, discovered otherwise. <laughs> Sorry about the bat, Renee. What have you done to me bat? You just bowled too fast. Oh, well, it's all right, Kip. Don't worry about it, mate. Well, Renee, may I just say welcome to Junior Supporters Club, even though you did break my bat. But today, I must tell you, the boys and girls that we're down at Werribee at the Australian Indoor Sports Stadium for Indoor Cricket. And, Renee, you're the sports director of the complex. Yes, Kev, I'm the sports director of the uh, complex here. Our company is called Australian Indoor Sports. Uh, and our company is involved with indoor cricket. Indoor cricket, as you know, is a booming game. It's a game of the 80s because everyone can play, from the little kids, which who we're talking to now, the under-7s, under-8s, under-9s, under-10s, right through to the adults. And uh, we've got centres located in a number of places, such as here at Werribee and Mornington, Seymour, uh, Essendon, Bulleen, uh, Melton, and uh, three or four other places we're looking at at the moment too. Rene, you just said it's the sport of the 80s. Now, a lot of people might like to know, how do you play indoor cricket? I mean, the type of equipment now, this ball, for instance, it looks like a real cricket ball. Yeah, indoor cricket, Kevin, originated, not, originated 1978 in uh, Perth, Western Australia. That's where the game started, and uh, it's grown in leaps and bounds. There's over half a million people playing it in Australia at the moment, and 75,000 people playing in Victoria weekly. Now, that's a lot of pl people playing sport. How many are in a team? There's eight players in a team, and uh, with the mixed side, there's four ladies and four males. So the girls can play as well? Yeah, as the sport. girls can play any ages. And the great thing about indoor cricket, you don't have to know anything about the game. You could be the best player or the worst player because everyone gets to bat for four overs and everyone gets to bowl for two overs. Renee, thanks for joining us today on Junior Supporters Club. It looks like it's a, it's a lot of fun. Can I just ask you before you go, what about the hairdressing? All the boys and girls knew you as a hairdresser. Well, Kevin, I'm out of the hairdressing. Um, I'm, as you can see, I'm involved with indoor cricket uh, set up in Victoria and I'm working very hard for the game uh, to promote it. But uh, with the uh, indoor um, cricket, it's a booming game and, and getting away from the hairdressing salon, uh, that was a phase of my life that I went through and now I'm involved with the indoor cricket. Renee Kink, our special guest on Junior Supporters Club today. Thanks, Kev. Thank you, Kevin. The only question I've got, I want you to be honest, KB, where did you get the helmet and face mask? Oh, well, that's, I got that from uh, Michael Roach from Merritt Hassan. <laughs> you didn't get the cricket bat from there, though, did you? Let's be sure of that one.